Okay, so not so long ago, I actually reviewed this device, which is called the Axun Simo. This is a HDMI monitoring device for your iPhone or iPad, and I was really happy of how this worked. In today's video, I've got a brand new device by Axun. This is called the Cineview Nano. Essentially, the primary difference between both of these is that this one has live HDMI wireless monitoring. This one required the adapter to be connected to your camera via a HDMI cable, and also your phone via another cable to the adapter as well. This one cuts out that second requirement of a cable whereby it connects to your camera via an HDMI cable still, but your phone or your iPad, it can be connected wirelessly and you can actually connect up to four devices wirelessly and have it monitoring from any distance. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the design and also the key specs of this device. And when it does come to wireless transmission devices, there's two main things that I always look out for, the quality of the output and does it match the quality of how you see it directly on the screen of your camera and also the latency. So how much input lag can this get when you do connect it wirelessly? But this is going to be a game changer because then you don't need to have the phone connected to the camera. You can keep your phone on person and start shooting at a distance to make sure you're still in focus, you're still in frame. And I'm really excited to see how this works. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull up the key specs on the sidebar as I'm showing you the design of the device. So you can see you have a adapter, which an expandable phone mount where you can clip your phone directly onto this and you just press the button to close the mount. Now this has two antennas as well, so you can get up to 5G Wi-Fi and a long transmission distance of up to 500 feet, which I think is absolutely great. You have yourself the power button just there on the right hand side, and then you have a battery indicator that will light up there. Then you also have the option to connect a five volt USB-C to power this rather than powering it via a battery. You also have a quarter 20 inch thread at the bottom as well to mount it on top of your camera. And then on the left hand side, you have a five volt input there for USB-C and the HDMI in, which I'll be connecting via the HDMI cable directly to my micro HDMI input on my camera. Now this takes standard NPF battery, so you just have to get one and slide it in there. You do get yourself a cold shoe mount, which I will be attaching to the bottom of this and then on top of my camera. If you do want to use this with a gimbal, then it does have a gimbal plate that you can attach as well, which makes this very convenient. You have a user manual and an Allen key to tighten the sides of the cold shoe mount. Two things that don't come with this is the HDMI cable and an NPF battery. So these two you will have to buy separately. Now you will need to use the Axun C app, which I've downloaded and I'll be connecting it via this. So what we will do is test the latency and because it does have up to 60 milliseconds of latency, which is very fast in fact, it may actually feel like there isn't any input lag. So having the quality and the live feed feel like real time is going to be very interesting to see. So I will be connecting this and I will connect it to maybe multiple devices because you can actually wirelessly connect up to four devices, whether it's iOS or Android. And that is a very convenient factor if you want to reposition all of your devices to see the live view of the camera in various different locations if you are doing a large filming. So let's go ahead and set that up and see how that performs. Okay, so everything is connected. I have the Cineview Nano now on my camera. And one thing I always suggest is when you first use this, just do a firmware update. The instructions are very simple. You can find them in the user manual. Now you can see I've actually connected this to three devices. So I have my iPhone 15 Pro, I have my iPad and I have an Android phone here as well. Multiple different platforms. So I wanted to showcase how this works. And let's go ahead and also check out the latency to see the variation on if there's actually a little bit of input lag or it actually feels more in real time. So I'm gonna step behind the camera and if you keep an eye on these three devices, and of course you have the options for adjusting your live view monitoring feed as well. So you, if you wanted to check your grids, your zebra, your cross hatching, all of the other features on the Axun C app, then you can also do that in live view as well. So I can take these with me in my locations when I do filming outdoors and just have a look to see if everything is looking great whilst the camera is a lot further away. So let me go ahead and step behind the camera and hopefully if you guys keep an eye on this to see how much it is actually in real time. So we'll be testing out that 60 millisecond latency. Okay, so let's test out the latency. So far, I feel like it's working very well. A little bit of a lag on the iPad version, but my phone's is actually working very smoothly. If I wanted to use this as a wireless video transmitter, then 
I think this is going to be a very great option because I can just keep my phone with me on person and then not having to worry about trying to see if I'm in view if the camera is a little bit further away. Now because the range is up to 500 feet, this is going to be very good for long distance shooting as well. Imagine having to film from a very far distance, then you having to go all the way to the camera if you are by yourself to make sure you're in view, everything is in focus, and then running all the way back to the point where you need to sit or stand to do your filming. Now, just another test, I'll turn on this light to see how much it comes through onto the app. Here we go, I'll turn that off. And to be honest, the 60 milliseconds actually seems pretty instant. Now, the fact that I can have multiple devices connected to this, I think that's just a great option to have. So if I am now going to do some filming where I want to move around quite a bit, I can position multiple devices around with the live view monitoring connected to the camera and it's going to look great. So that's all I wanted to showcase. I'm very happy with this. You know, I've been a fan of Axoon products for a while now and this is 100% going to be what I'm going to use, especially with my outdoor filming to see how I'm looking in frame because there's been so many scenarios whereby I've had my camera behind me or further in the distance and me having to run back in between where I need to do the filming and to have a look at the view on the camera. It's gonna save so much time and it just has a lot of convenience factor to this. Make sure to check the link in the description to find out all the latest specs, the latest pricing information. In the UK, this does retail around 99 pounds. So for me, that is very affordable and you know, I can't find any faults with this. It's just instant plug and play. I had no issues. Any questions you guys have, make sure to drop a comment down below. If you like this video and you like all things tech, I have new videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.